and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher! Um, yeah, we're just about to make our way to the Hairy Baron. Oh, notice board. Oh, jack shit on it. Hello, Hairy Baron. Hairy Baron. Baron. Ha. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah, we've got more fist fighters to take on. Want a beating, stranger? Yeah, I'll fight you. We'll fight you for money too. Show me what you got. Uh, for fifteen? I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. Yeah, I will, won't I? <laughs> I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. Hey. Ow! Go away! Ow! Get! <laughs> so much blood flying out of you! It's amazing! I'm surprised you're still alive, to be honest. <laughs> Punch the air! Blow a kiss! Why not? In, wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. Thank you! Okay, it's your turn. Want a beating, stranger? We fight yeah, I want a beating. You think you're some tough guy with a woman painted across your chest? But I don't think you are. Really? I'm 15 orange and I'll oh, kick, kick your ass. ass and make money doing it. Oh, you could try. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just the way they all sound. Ow. Ow. I am dwarf. We're in the middle of a fight. Hmm, okay. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. Okay, thank you. I think you should get off the first stick. Just to make your voice that all changes. funky. What? You an experienced fist fighter? Smacked a few. Why? I defeated Fat Fred, so I'm looking for another opponent. You take issue with fat folk? <laughs> no. no. Are you fighting or are you running home to Mama? What's the wager? 75 arons. Any rules? Any rules? Just one. No rules apply. Right. Okay, so, so can I draw my sword and stab you in the stomach? I mean, you said no rules apply, right? I'm in. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, did you punch that much health out of me? Okay, so my accuracy was just horrible at the start. I was thinking that maybe I'd thought someone had been taking potions or something. There we go, that's better. Okay, I think I need to regenerate a bit of health now. Hmm. I'm saying double. I win. Choose two bottles of mandrake cordial, hmm. a golden necklace, or 150 orans. Hmm. I don't think mandrake cordial is going to be worth that much, to be honest. Uh, with the, the necklace, necklace, I guess. Here. Hello there. Geralt, it's been ages. I couldn't believe Zoltan when he said you'd returned. It's me, Munro. Exiles to war, you, Zoltan, and I helped them. You must remember. Nope. Um, how's, how's life? life? 
Can't complain. I have a nice slow job as a bouncer. That's slow. <laughs> the guests settle things between themselves. It's a quiet place. Birds don't ever shit in their own nests. Hmm. Well, that's true enough. Never make trouble on your doorstep. Anyone play dice here? I play professionally, I'd say. Care for a game? No offense, but I play professionals. Play Carmen in the brothel across the way. You might also practice with Zoltan. Go fuck yourself, you little cunt dwarf man. Hi there, thug. You shut your trap. Hello, boozer. Hello, thug. Ah, uh, gambler man. I respect those who take risks. Okay. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from a gardener. Where can I find what? it? What? The garden at St. Lebiota's Hospital. I'm sorry, what? I'll buy some cheap power. I, I respect those that take the risk. Uh, you make ends meet? Gambling? You make ends meet gambling? Depends who you play and where. Where is it worth playing? If your pouch be full, the wealthy part of town. Here, you're more up to get stabbed than walk away rich. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Surprise you're here then. Hello, Enkeep. Well, well. Swords on your back. White hair. You ran away from a circus? No. Ha. Ah. Still a member. Ha! <laughs> looking for you. Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? Any rooms? Any rooms? Five orans. Eh, yeah, I'll pass for now. As you wish. What's, What's all this betting? All this betting? Common folks entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wager on who wins. <laughs> what did those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good one. So long. Eh, can't be bothered burying her dead. We just let the dogs eat it. Greetings. Look who's here. Who are you? They call me Coleman. What do you do? I Make fistic. Travel about. Like where? Swamps recently. What do you care? Just asking. You buying? Hmm. You're looking to hire a witcher? Looking to hire a witcher? Well, since you mention it. Yes. There's an haunted house. More suited to an exorcist than a witcher. Oh. Ghosts. I want results. Chairs should stand still, doors remain closed, and pots hang on the wall peacefully. Willing to check it out? Okay, I'm, I'm ready, actually. I want to see this. This the sounds spooky. The sewer entrance, near the gate to the dike. Can't help thinking a good glazier could eliminate those drafts. <laughs> Get back up, mister. I'm not finished with you. you. Buying? Um, ever seen the salamander sale? Salamander sign. Leave me be, but shove off. What? Piss off. Wanker. I'll just have to talk to him again. Oh, run out. In a go. I said I'll go. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I said. I said. Come on, come on. Ah oh, yes, one more thing. You buying? What, what do, do you, you sell? sell? Where have you been? White powder, fist tech. Should have guessed. I sell my friends other goods, but you're no friend. Right. <laughs> you buying? Um. Show me your wares. Oh, only fist tech. Okay. Could sell him fist stick. I'll keep it for now in case it becomes useful. What? What can I use it for? I wonder. You buying? Not right now. But let's have a drink. Um, let's 
drank some Mahakam meads. I'm gonna get myself fucking drunk again. Ugh. Um. I'll use strong alcohol later, but we'll go for Bahaka over bite. Go for some more white. I hope I got enough for this. Even more white. Look, Geralt the Rivia of Rivia, the drunkard. Tossle it red. I was sitting with my friends and we're drinking all by then. But she didn't see me cry, cause I hit her <laughs> in the eye and wow. now she's blind. Now she's blind. No. I was You've had enough. Okay. I was gonna try and talk to him a bit more, but I guess not. Oh blurry old vision. Uh Bartender! I would like to mix some potions and rest for a bit, god. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Hi there, barkeep. <laughs> Don't bet on boxing, it's rigged. What do you want? Okay. Um, any rooms? Five or Five horns, uh, yeah, sure. I'll take it so I don't be drunk for much longer. Right, so... Uh, regeneration might be useful. Power up during fist fights. Immunity to pain. Oh, right, that's when drunk. Uh, hmm... New right stamina absorption new intelligence same intensity nah Ard uh Cozy's knockdown endurance cost fifteen Is that less? Fifteen No the same intensity is plus twenty five and it locks the second level. Student Apprentice Specialist 270, 180, 180. Uh, chance to disarm. That does sound useful. Nocturne chance is increased. Because Art is extremely useful so far, but I do want to get some for Quinn, I think it is, which is a shield. Yeah, damage absorbing shield. The assailant loses 5% of their current vitality. Oh! Oh! Fire resistance. Uh, assailant loses 10%. Oh! That is very good, actually. Crushing blow, bleeding, uh, bleed out. Mm. Precise hits, damage increase. Uh. I feel like I'm using fast style more often, to be honest. Fast and gr actually group and strong, technically. I increase the damage on group style. And on strong. So we'll do that. Actually, you know what? We'll do that. Just why not? Close that, go to alchemy. Uh, bindweed might be useful just to have, but we need Hellhound's soul. Uh, right, that's what we got. Mix. Necrophage oil we could make, and spectre oil. We might need spectre oil quite soon, I think. 
Gonna make some Spectre oil, I think. Ah, uh, need to swallow. Tonio significantly increases endurance regeneration. We don't need that as much, to be honest. Uh, cat may be useful to have. I think I've only got one more, but they last for a very long time. Um, what else? Uh, I don't really need the endurance regeneration. That's the thing. Might be nice to have Thunderbolt, but we need four Vermitrin. But we only have one. Ah, uh, that is awkward. I'll do it for now. Sorry, the music in the background just catchy in my head. Hit me, chicken! Oh, waitress! I want to talk to you because you're green! Hi, green waitress! Oh, sorry. Hello! Fancy a meal? Um. Or have you another reason for coming? What other reason? <laughs> There's a comfortable bed out back. What'll it be? Um. <laughs> uh, anything interesting, anything interesting happening, here? happening here? Boys fight each other. Some wager on the outcome. Sometimes they beat up visitors. Altogether boring. <laughs> Show me your wares. Oh, I can't. I, I'm sorry. Just like wow, everyone wants to play the Witcher. Never had a Witcher before. Uh. Uh, I'm wondering if I should take some alcohol just so I can use it to uh, get people drunk so they talk to me. Back our way. Let's get some of that. Um. We could use Tamarian Ray to make a quality uh, potion base. Quite nice ones of that. Do that. And get some more potion bases as well. Uh, Nilfgaardian Lemon. Tamarian Ray. Let's go for that. Um, Ramsmith. Hello, Ramsmith. What you want, freak? I want to gut you right on the spot here, but I'm not going to say anything. You have the faintest idea who you're talking to, freak. One word, and before you count to three, you'd be facing a dozen hardened assassins. And they'd be on the floor before you count to three. Well. The cub growls, but does it bite? I could use someone for work. Hmm. Hmm. Are you the spies I your team? Spies your kind. Contempt, wolf cub, is the privilege of the prudent. In all others, it's a sign of youth and ignorance. I piss on your juvenile scorn. What do you want? Ah, uh, how's <laughs> things? Old whores have wings. Beat it, Witcher. <laughs> what? I'm betting on the boxer. He's a strong bastard. Go plow. Go plow. His last fall okay. was a bloody hmm. I guess I'll be leaving. Unless that guy's not drunk anymore, and he's our friend now. Who, who knows? You never know. Hi there. You buying? Are you selling? Nope. Mm. 
I'm thinking about selling it, but at the same time, it's kind of like, eh, no. You know what, I'm kind of curious what taking Fistic would do to Geralt. Hello there, Carmen. What do you want? Care to relax a little, handsome? Only a little. Depends. I'm open to suggestions. Let's um. talk. Alright, we'll chat. But I'm counting on more. Surprise me. We know so little about love. <laughs> it's like a pear. Sweet and shapely. But try describing that shape without saying pear. Um. <laughs> what? I'm not poor, but I can tell a sh uh, peach when I see one. Try sh uh, oh, with I'm that one, poor, I guess. But I can tell a peach when I see one. A charmer. <laughs> if this conversation carries on, I'll want some of that fruit. <laughs> Any work for a witcher? Any work for a witcher? Some men are troubling my girls. Take care of it and we'll compensate you generously. Oh my? Uh, I'll see I'll what see I can what do. Where are these guys? Where can I find these men? There are three places they frequent at night. Mark them on my map. Mark them on my map. Nice to see you. Um, have things calmed have down? Things calmed down? No. All right. Nice to. See. Um, how many girls like you work in Vizima? Many girls like you working in Vizima? Plenty, but I'm the prettiest. No doubt. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Any unusual entertainment so, on offer? Um. Any unusual mm. entertainment on offer? Some clients like to play dice at the same time. Interested? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nice to see you. <laughs> uh, see ya. That, 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 that's just wrong. Let's play poker. Poker? Oh. Anyway. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just like, um, okay. Hired by Kirkston. I need to go see Kirkston, who's all the way at the opposite end. Uh, okay. Memory of a Blade, the Gardener. Who's quite a bit closer. Quite a bit closer. Uh, the warehouse is right there, but that's midnight. Captain. The rat. Okay, that's up there. It's relatively close. Working girls help the girls. A uh, reward for brooches. Where the hell is the reward for the brooches? Apparently it's down here. Because once we find who's uh, taking brochures for a reward, I can give them what I've got, and free up a little bit more inventory space. Hopefully, they'll be willing to take a bit more than just the brochures. Uh, who in here? It won't be Zoltan Chavi. Uh, thug, dog, drummer, thug, traveler, barrel, 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 barrel. Wait, can I just nick from barrels to get uh, flint? Alcohol, I was wondering. Yeah, some of it. Okay. Starting to run horribly out of inventory. Yes. Great. Yeah, I want to fight. Oh, you're working. 120? Let's go for 30. Should be an interesting fight. Ready? Bring it on. Bring it on! I've got so much weapons on me right now. Ah! Cheat! Can't say anything though that I've kicked him in the balls. I'll smash your face. At least I don't feel like I can say anything. <laughs> because I kicked him in the balls and I kicked him a punch. I punched him across the face. I kicked him a punch. And I punched him across the face. It feels like I'm just. slanderer at that point. And. You're not bad. It's no shame losing to the whitehead one. <gasps> you know me? He knows me! Wanna be. 
Yeah, sure, I'll beat you up for money. 15 instead of 10. Oh, kick. Yeah, yeah. Kick your arse while making money and blah. Hit me, chicky. There we go. Right, so, next! Oh, so what is in this trunk? I love how we don't bother waving our arms around like, yeah, woo! I bet someone up, they're just like, eh, sure, I bet someone up now. Hey, fist fighter. Fight for money, yeah, I'll fight for money. Let's make it 15 monies. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, you'll kick my arse and make money doing it. Ow! It wants to get slapped. You do, apparently. The reason I'm blocking more is because uh, stamina regenerates a lot faster. There we go. No challenges. No, I'm challenging. Perfectly fine. Look, see. Anyway, we're done. You win one. Okay, take your money and leave me be. Blah blah. Take that. I'm itching to it somewhere. What do you want to set the thing to? My head. Okay, they don't want to be beaten up again. Who is it that wants the things, anyway? Uh, speak to the messenger for the man who rewards people for killing the salamandras to meet. I'll meet him tonight at the Hairy Bear. Okay, so it needs to be at night time. So another night time deal. Uh, Berengar's secret. Okay, I need to talk to Kirkston then. Which is all the way up there. So I'll meet this guy at night time who wants to deal with Salamandra. Or, you know, inverted commas, and deal with the Salamandra. Uh, probably in the next episode, because we are starting to get to about the halfway point. Hello there, Hooker. Ooh. Your hair is like milk. Yeah! Come. Because I had to, uh, you know. I had to go through the trial of the grasses and I almost actually ended up dead. You know, and that's why uh, my hair lost all pigmentation. Because it started to attack central nervous system and, eh, you know. Reasons, I'll just say, from now on. Just reasons. A half elf woman's up there. A she elf. Oh. Wow, boy, you've followed me. Okay, that's just creepy. The monkey was cute, but you're just creepy. Uh, let's go to the blacksmith while we're here, actually. Because we are really damn close to the blacksmith. We may as well. Also, this is this is a dreadful idea. This is your house. Oh, whatever. Human come to see a non-human. You need something. Yes, yeah, but not human. Human, and yes, you might have something I need. Malcolm Stein, not a better blacksmith than all of us. What about that other dwarf out there? Nice workshop. You must be proud. But where's your equipment? They took it. Those sons of bitches. Oh. Now I must rent if I want to work. Thieves? No, worse. Damn city officials. Slap me with taxes on running a non-human business. Wow. Trading in non-human goods. How the hell do they imagine I'll forge things for humans? I'm a bleeding dwarf. Strange coincidence, too. That character <laughs> connected with the order recently acquired new Mahakaman anvils. Strangely similar to my own. Hmm. <laughs> Will, Will you, you sell, sell me your wares? wares? I only serve friends and those who come recommended. 
I won't have my goods used against non-humans. Farewell. You are a miserable sod. What if I told you I know Zoltan? Greetings, sir. You the smith's apprentice? Indeed, I run the shop, keep things tidy. Uh, what do you need? Uh, show, show me your wares. your wares. I cannot. You don't come recommended, and we only serve our own and friends. See ya. <laughs> wow! You're dicks. Ugh. A little half elf woman. Let me guess if I helped the Sky at Hell, I would have gotten that. Kirkson? Yeah, Kirkson. Hello? Kirkson, where are you? I don't see you. There's the downstairs. Okay, I'll have a look downstairs. Hello? Hello! Finally, the Witcher Geralt answers my call. We meet again. I need your help again. Really? With what? A grave matter. Something that could prove a milestone in alchemy. <laughs> Connected to your profession, too. Oh? Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. <laughs> you had a job. job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Vizima. Okay. Princess up top, dragon below. Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend <laughs> says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. Well, damn. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. Hmm. In short, it breeds monsters. Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher, and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 oris oh. to whoever helps me get inside. Is that not, is that not round about the amount he got for freeing the Strigger? I think that's the amount that he got for helping with the Striga for King Foltus. That is a hell of a lot of money. I see what I can do, uh, though I'm sure it won't be easy. Yeah. I see what I can do, though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Ransant Alvaro's The Secret Gates, and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago, hmm. and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention. A crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, oh. disintegrating your being into billions of pieces <laughs> that travel beyond the time-space curve. And then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. Hmm. Really? That's actually quite interesting. I get a teleportation crystal now. Huh. I've read the basics of alchemy already. I believe. Yeah, I've read that. Uh, anything else interesting in the place? Goose fat and lower pepper vodka. Okay. Wardrobe. Oh, really? Dog towel. Huh. Okay, we have baskets, trunks, wardrobe, barrel. Oh no, 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 no. Before I leave, I need to ask you about how you got a bloody witcher's sword. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, I heard you, uh, the ba witcher Berengar was working I for heard you. witcher Berengar was working for you. I hoped you wouldn't discover that. Oh, to really? I hired him to investigate the swamp tower. 
I didn't want to scare you, but I still have designs on that structure. You hired him and he disappeared. Didn't you find that odd? It's why I want you to solve the riddle. Maybe you can also discover what befell Berengar. What do you think happened? My competitors for that knowledge might have disposed of Berengar. Hmm. He left this book with me. You might find it useful. Why don't you just... Oh, whatever. I'm here by the notice. You have Al Ghul Maro for me? Oh, no. Not yet, but I'll get you some soon. Hurry, I need it for my... Yes, yes, you need it for your solution. It's good for you. Hmm. Sorry, you were lost in thought. How do I get, How to, do the I get to the swamp? Anyway, yeah, that's Through good the point. western gate is a dike leading to old Vizima. Okay. What, what then? then? You'll find a ferry to take you to the swamp. The ferry goes both ways? Yes, there's a dock in the swamp near the brickmaker's hamlet. Thanks. Hmm. Sorry, I got Yes, yes, got lost in thought. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about the Salamandra. Salamandra. Hmm. I think you're in league with them. <laughs> Wait, what? Me? Why? That's what I'd like to know. What is it you're after? Uh. And I don't think we have any evidence of his. Okay, uh, I'll just evidence say. Evidence indicates you're linked to the organization. It's suspicious that people you hire are chased by Salamandra. I don't yeah, well, know yeah. who pursued Berengar, but I had nothing to do with it. You didn't try trapping him to hand him to Azar Javid? No. If I worked for Salamandra, I would never let myself be linked to Berengar. You offend my intelligence. Go away. I believe you. I don't know enough to decide. Let's drop the subject for now. Right. We can't waste time. When you find that criminal, I'll gladly hmm. help, but now... Yes, yes, now back to work. Hmm. Sorry, we're lost in thoughts. Uh, show me your wares. Oh. Small book of minerals. Infantry full drop book. You can have the alchemical paste, I guess. Oh, you can also take skulls. Take those damn skulls. Jeez, I've been running around with them trying to get rid of them. Pissing skulls. I was going to give them to Abigail, but no, apparently we had to go into fighting and pew pew and stuff, you know. Well, oh, less pew pew and more. Arr, look, it's trying to kill me type thing. A small book in minerals. Yes, I'll take that. I'll take that because we're about to fight some race, I believe. An Ornithosaurus. Huh. Information on the wyvern. The basilisk and the cockatrice. Garlic? A vampire repelling talisman. Interesting. Okay, we'll do that. Um, good, we did drop the book on the floor. Right, so, first off. Have a look at that. The book describes basic mineral ingredients used in the alchemy, including sulfur, gants, uh, acid, winestone, zanese, the salts, calcium, aquarium, and phosphorus. It also discusses the alchemical substances found in these minerals. Spectres and wraiths. The book contains information on noon wraiths, night wraiths, spectres, and the terrifying wild hunt. Ooh, the wild hunt. Fear and loathing. The tome provides information on algos, scimitars, and devourers. It discusses methods of fighting the monsters and alchemical ingredients that can be obtained from them. Okay, sounds good. Uh, ether obtained from the devourer carcass. Algul marrow obtained from the algul bodies. Uh, Scimitar jaw obtained from scimitar carcasses, carcasses, cockatrice eyes obtained from cockatrice carcasses, cockatrice feathers obtained from cockatrice carcasses. Nazian salts obtained from carcass of Alps and Bruxa. Phosphorus, highly flammable alchemical substance. Shadow dust. 
uh, obtained from the bodies of night wraiths and devourers. Shimmering dust obtained from the remains of noon wraiths defeated. Sulfur obtained from yellow alchemical substance. Toxin obtained from the carcass of cucumbers, wyverns, and giant centipedes, basilisks, and cockatrices. Seas. A uh, stone, wine stone. A substance made from wine by witches. Ha! Huh. That is rather interesting, actually. Um, not cat. Hellhound soul, please. There we go. Got silver talent. That's cool. Uh, what is this? Spectre oil. Oh yeah. Um. Okay, I've already read all, all those. That's good. I'll grab that. Right, Book of Kiss. Excerpt from the Witcher's Secret, stolen from Karen Moore. Contains a formula for potions. Kiss. Uh, uh, Staunches any bleeding and raises resistance to it. Insectoid oil. Increases damage caused to insectoids. Agregena. Increases damage caused to monsters sensitive to sulfur. Uh, silver. Interesting. Um, nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, Agregena. Coats the uh, Witcher's Blades. Uh, coats. Witchers coat their silver blades with Agregela, which also increases the effectiveness of silver, but weakens steel blades. Ha! Huh. The oil is made by mixing ingredients, providing two measures of each cubith and hydralium, hydragem, and one measure of rubus. High quality grease must be used as base. Long lasting is the effect. Uh, silver brings ruin to all beasts, but even a brave knight bearing a silver blade may not have the strength to defeat the most dreadful monsters. There is a way, though, to awaken the spirits of the silver sword. By using the moon oil known as Agrelata, Agrita, Agentia, Agentia. By using the silver, uh, the moon oil known as Agentia, insectoid oil. Uh, the blade is coated in a substance that inflicts increased damage on all insectoid creatures. This oil is made by mixing ingredients, providing one measure of rubus, cubith, uh, ether, and verulamin. High quality grease must be used as a base. Uh, it is long lasting. Uh, Huge vias, cucumbers, and other insects suffer greater damage from weapons coated in this poison invented by witchers. Witchers also use insector oil to rid their fortresses of bugs and parasites. A uh, kiss. Uh, kiss increases resistance to bleeding and staunches any current bleeding. The potion is made by mixing ingredients providing a measure of velamin. And two measures of vitriol. Strong alcohol must be used as a base. Duration is long. Uh, it's medium toxicity. This potion affects the witcher's mutated bodies by forcing their blood to coagulate almost instantly. This is often consumed before taking on monsters known to inflict hemorrhaging wounds. Ha! Huh. Monsters. The Devourer. Uh, devourers are sca... Uh, Scavengers, uh, which live in near human settlements, usually in caves and ruins. They are immune to conventional poisons and resistant to knockdown attempts. They are sensitive to silver and necrophage oil. Devourers try to knock down their victims and eat them alive. They produce shadow dust, cadaverin, cad yeah, cadaverin. Albers crystals and devourer teeth. Devourers are often called night witches because they resemble old ugly women and are famous for their witch-like viciousness. These creatures gorge themselves on human flesh. Though they willingly eat carcasses, above all they crave flesh that is fresh and warm. Devourers hunt after dark in groups that peasants refer to as Sabbaths. They like to deceive their victims and t torture them. Oh. But there is no truth in the tales of their midnight fights on brooms, flights even, on broomsticks and their gingerbread houses. <laughs> uh. Semitor. Semitor. 
Scimitars are rare, they are found on battlefields and cemeteries, just like other necrophages. They are immune to most common poisons and resistant to knockdown and stun attempts. They are sensitive to silver and necrophage oil. Scimitars try to knock down their victims and eat them alive. Uh, they produce scimitar jaws, white vinegar, and abdominal... abomination limbs, even. Much has been written about the ghouls and gravers since they have been encountered by common folk in times of war and in cemeteries. Scimitars are... Cemet Terrors are rare, but they appear in a necropoli. They they appear in a necropoli, but they take over. They take it over. But when they appear in a necropoli, they take it over. All ghouls respect them and must bow to them. Ha! Huh. A ghoul. A ghouls appear near all necropoli in crypts. Immune to most common poisons and resistant to knockdown attempts, they are in the other hand, sensitive to silver, the strong style, style is most effective against a ghoul eye. A ghouls. Experienced uh, witchers use the group style while fighting mul multiple ghouls. A ghouls try to knock down their victims and eat them alive, while they produce the cadaverin, white vinegar, and a ghoul maro. Maro, even. A ghouls are ghouls which have been devour have been devouring corpses for so many years that human flesh becomes irresistible, and they prey on the living. They are seen in crypts and battlefields, frequently surrounded by ghouls. Simple folk do not notice the difference between these two types of scavengers, unlike witchers, who know that the agul is more aggressive and a challenging opponent. Oh, really? Huh. Night Wraith. Night Wraiths appear on fields and meadows. Uh, they can be found in the dark. When the moon is high, they are spectres, but the time, this, at the same time, they maintain a strong connection to the natural world. They see the living, but cannot understand them, because the dead cannot hear the living. They are immune to bleeding, poisoning, pain, and bleeding attempts. And they are fearless. They are sensitive to silver, on the other hand, and spectre oil. They are able to, gr they are able to grasp the moonlight? And blind their enemies with it? Oh my god, that's, that's horrible! Huh, they're able to grab some moonlight and blind their enemies with it. Uh, death dust, shadow dust, and ectoplasm are the results of killing one. Night wraiths are born in moonlight, wind, and earth, killing after the heat of the day. What? Huh. They rise above the ground and whirl in a mad dance, which should not be seen by any mortal. If caught peeping, the mortal is blinded by moonlight, then taken into the circle and forced to dance until he expires, at times becoming a night wraith himself. Hmm. Noon wraith. Noon wraiths hunt civil... Uh, cult... Yeah. Noon wraiths haunt cultivated uh, meadows and fields. They are always appear when the sun is high. They are spectres, but at the same time they maintain a strong connection to the natural world. They see the living, but cannot understand them because they are dead and can't hear. It means the bleeding, uh, poisoning, pain, and binding attempts. They are fearless, sensitive to silver and spectre oil. Uh, they are able to grasp sun rays and blind their enemies with them instead. They produce death dust, simmering dust, and ectoplasm. Noon rays are born in high noon, uh, out the heat, sadness, and sweat of plowmen. Out of the heat, sadness, and sweat of plowmen. In the hot air above the fields, they gather to dance madly, creating air vortices. But the spectres dislike being watched, and those who peep are forced to dance with them. Noon rays uh, stop their dance when the sun goes down. Once the abducted mortal is long dead, but from fear and exhaustion. Hmm. The Wild Hunt. The Wild Hunt appears in the sky as a harbinger of war and misfortune. Some believe that it's simply a magical phenomenon and not a horde of spectres. Elven sources refer to it as the Red Riders. There is no information on the immunity. No information on their suspect susceptibility. Their tactics, uh, the warriors of the Wild Hunt, do not have to fight. They inspire such terror that people cower in the mere glimpse. There are, no, there are known instances of abductions by the Wild Hunt. Alchemy, Vapors of the Hunt. Hmm. 
The hunt is a horde of spectres that roams the sky during the storms and is an omen of disaster. The appearance of the wild hunt uh, foreshadows war and woe, such uh, much as a comet does. The spectral wa wild hunt sometimes appears in the nightmares of the cursed and those touched by destiny. Huh. Wraith. Uh, wraiths hunt in places where they died and or were buried. They are spectres which do not belong in this world. Sometimes they are summoned by magic, but more frequently unfinished business makes them linger on in the world. They are immune to bleeding and binding attempts. They are fearless and immune to poison and pain and knockdown attempts. They are sensitive to silver and spectre oil. They suffer uh, tactics. The suffering experienced by the wraith Makes wounds that it inflicts more painful. Huh. Death, dust, and exoplasm is the alchemical ingredients you can get from it. If you want to rid, uh, if you want to get rid of a wraith, you must find its body by searching on unhallowed ground or in the corner of the cemetery where the outlaws were buried. When you dig up the corpse, you will discover that it is not rotten and that there is blood on its lips. Pierce the corpse with an iron aspen spike, cut off its head, and place it between the corpse's legs. Make certain that the wraith will never return. Set the corpse on fire. One false step will mean your demise. Oh! That is unpleasant. We have Vizima Glossary? No. Ingredients? I think that's pretty much all it is for now. Yeah, that seems to be it. And we've ran over a bit, so I'll leave it there. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.